Okay, so welcome to the fourth and final part of my video series on Medusa's head. Uh, this is going to cover from page 110 uh, to the end of the story, which is not a lot, but seeing as it is the end, it does kind of cover a lot of things. Um, and then I'm going to have a little ask of you at the end, so hopefully uh, if you watch this video, you'll want to do this. Um, so in this section, uh, we see Perseus return home and have to deal with the whole situation that what was started with Polydectes, um, kind of guilting Perseus into not giving him a wedding gift and Perseus saying, just ask, I'll bring you whatever you want. And Polydectes asks for Medusa's head and sort of sets forth this impossible quest for Perseus. Uh, but Perseus accomplishes the impossible. And so when he returns back to the kingdom, Polydectes is like, oh, you didn't really do that. I don't believe you. And of course, it just leaves this awesome moment for Perseus to go, oh, I didn't, did I? Behold, and to pull out Medusa's head to show Polydectes, which of course turns into stone. So um, that ends the conflict between Perseus and Polydectes. And it also solves Danae's problem if uh, you notice, she is hiding out in a temple where Polydectes wouldn't attempt to, to try to track her down uh, with Polydectes' brother. And so Perseus leaves Danae and Polydectes' brother now to be the king and the queen of this island. But it's not quite done for Perseus because if we recall, Perseus um, had a, an original home and an original um, grandfather who was the one that put him and Danae into the chest and cast him out into the ocean because he was afraid of the oracle's prophecy that he would have a grandson that would kill him. So uh, he returns back to, um, a, to the kingdom, uh, to his original kingdom, the Greek mainland, and the king uh, into Argos, which is where all these legends originate for Perseus, is the hero of Argos. And um, Acrisius uh, runs away, terrified. Uh, he, Perseus now returns all of his battle equipment that was given to him, the, the sandals and the shield. And Medusa's head he actually gives to Athena who mounts it on her aegis, which is like her, her, her chest plate that she wears into battle. And if you see statues or um, representations of Athena, um, you can often see the Medusa in the center of her chest. So she, she places it there, which would be a, a pretty formidable weapon to have in battle, to have this head that turns things into stone ahead of you. You can see how that might be useful. But what happens to Acrisius? So, so here we kind of get to a little twist in the story, right? Something kind of ironic happens, something we didn't ex expect. So Acrisius runs... Uh, away and ends up in this other town and in that town they're having a big athletic competition and all the great heroes and athletes all over Greece gather at this competition and so of course Perseus goes being the great hero that he is he goes and he competes in the discus which if you've seen track and field events um, that come to us from the Greeks it's this like flat disc that you that you throw and whoever gets it the furthest inbound that's the winner so he th um, Perseus throws the discus and it goes high up into the air way beyond where anybody else threw it because you know he is the hero Perseus but it gets caught in the air and on a strange wind and it flies into the stands and it hits Acrisios and kills him so it was really an accident that caused um, this death where Acrisius in his mind thought that the air would 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 kill him on purpose or m murder him um, really it turns out to be an accident and this helps Perseus also because it, it the the prophecy said he would kill his own grandfather which is you know not really a great prophecy for Perseus uh, or for Acrisios, but um, what it does is free Perseus from this uh, guilt of, of killing his own grandfather, of killing his own kin, um, which was a considered, you know, as today, 
and throughout mankind is considered kind of like the worst thing you could do is to kill your one of a member of your own family so it frees him of this stain of of, of having done this terrible wrong because it, it really just turns out to be an accident so it's a little surprising in the end uh, on page 112 it does ask you for um, a short response so um, I challenge you to write to me um, tell me um, you know how you can tie kind of the different bits of the theme in and, and what you think this means to you um, what what it could be about and a big idea about life um, do you think that these stories still can teach us something about life in our modern world um, what do you think or the way people should behave could you could you apply it to your own life try to get some text evidence in there um, if you wrote it here already um, you can even take a picture of it, but um, you could also type your response, send it to me on email, send it to me on Google Classroom. Um, that's it for this video series, guys. I did definitely make them a lot shorter, which was good. And um, maybe we'll do this some more when we get into some of our new learning. So be on the lookout on Google Classroom. There'll be some new stuff popping up, and uh, I hope to see you guys soon, talk to you guys soon. Take care, wash your hands, be safe out there. Bye.